Praise the Lord and glory be to God, my dear brothers and sisters. A warm welcome to one and all of you, and I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If there are unbelievers, non-Christians listening to me, we love you. God loves you. And this is, um, this is something that, um, you know, we always keep telling you. We are all one. Yeah, we were born of the same father, Yahweh God. And just that, you know, the traditions, the culture, and uh, all the ancestral patterns, the method, have basically separated us from one another. But the truth and the fact remains the same, that we are born of this one God, Yahweh God. And the more you understand this fact, the more you will realize, you know, what a what a God you're worshipping and there is no discrimination <clears throat> amongst the mankind. Yeah, today what discriminates us? Three of things, three things discriminates. Number one, religion. Number two, language. Number three, culture. Culture is the one which is called as racism, right? You know, it, 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 it identifies you by certain caste or something like that. Three things. And all these three things are from the devil, not from God. God made us to be united as one. All right. A warm welcome to this series, Groups of Evil Spirits That Deceive the Mankind. And we are in episode number eight, and we are dealing with the spirit of Antichrist as a term, as a doctrine, as a uh, theological discussion, or as a, uh, um, what to say, as a, as, a, as, a, as a truth, which is something that people might not have heard or understood or realized. You, you, can, you can give any title you want. You are from the theological background. Yes, we are covering many of the facts and doctrines from the, uh, through evidences and, uh, you know, from the, you know, about the evolution and all these things we are touching. You are a person from a spiritual background, always about spirit, 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 spirit. Yes, obviously, you will. This will be your cup of coffee, too. And you are from a nominal Christianity kind of background. Yes, you will discover lots of things. Why? Because you don't even touch Bible. No. So everything will be a kind of a discovery. You may belong to a different religion. You are a non-Christian. You will you will also discover many things. Therefore, do not turn it off. Right. And uh, this is our lesson number five. I strongly recommend, I strongly encourage you. In fact, I urge you, admonishing, I urge you that please go through the first few lessons, right? Lesson one, two, three, four. And if possible, please go through all the episodes. There are seven episodes where we had uh, described or disclosed about various other spirits like familiar spirits, unclean spirit, foul spirit, deep sleep spirit, tormenting spirit, and all the spirits. Now, we are dealing with the Antichrist spirit. Antichrist spirit. Now, when we talk about Antichrist, I'm straight away dive, diving into the session because we have spent enough time in the first few lessons of, about this unseen enemy. And he was an unknown enemy, but he was brought into picture as early as Genesis 3, 1. Right? Adam and Eve, unfortunately, did not know about this enemy. Why? Because God want to test their love and faith and obedience. If he had introduced him, then the, 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 the test is invalid, right? Yeah, you, you, you appear for an exam. In the previous night, somebody gives you an exam, examination paper with answers, question paper with answers. Does it really sound like an exam? Many people get into that corruption, isn't it? They bribe the teacher and, or, or the university and they leak the question paper and they get caught anyway. So don't get into all this malpractices and corruption and God is definitely not going to approve all of this because he's fair God, he's righteous God, he's just, just God. And that's exactly what happened to Adam and Eve. And God want to, uh, God would like to test their faith and love and um, intimacy and their confidence and their obedience and their dependency. And most important thing is obedience. Obedience. Whatever God taught, are they listening to that or whatever the devil is injecting into their brains? That's called as deception. Uh, would they pay attention to that one or this one? That is the same warfare. Even today also it is existing, right? The children of God heed to the voice of the Father. And you know how their life is well structured, organized, disciplined, holy. They move away from filthy deeds. They move away from corruption, malpractitions, and everything. They don't shed blood. They don't think evil. They don't invent new methods to embrace wickedness. Huh? All these are the wiles of the devil. But those those that have heed to the uh, those that have paid attention to the voice of the devil, obviously you know how they are. 
right? A lot of people who embrace corruption and they murder people for money and all that. They kidnap little children and they sell them to some red light areas. They rape young girls. Yeah, and the next day morning they wake up and they say, I was an alcoholic. I didn't know what happened last night. Go to hell. Yeah, that is your destiny. Are you not aware that all these were the wilds of the devil? No, I was not aware. Who stopped you? Why were you not aware? You are aware of gadgets. You are aware of what is the latest mobile phone. You are aware of what is the latest trending hashtag in Facebook. And who stopped you from learning about this God versus the deception, the deceiving evil spirit? Yeah, you deserve hell, my brother, my sister. Unfortunately, I have to tell you this. This is the eighth categorical discussion. <clears throat> and we are talking through this subject. Um, where we are describing from the word of God clear enough who is this Antichrist the moment we say Antichrist people always refer to this um, Antichrist regime which will definitely happen I'm not saying it won't happen yeah seven years of uh, Antichrist regime three and a half years golden era people will all worship him they will love him oh what a wonderful leader and uh, wonderful, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is a wonderful human being, wonderful this, wonderful that. You will be like wonderful, more than God. They will almost look him like God or they will make him God. And the second half, he will, he will force people to worship him. And those that shall not worship me will definitely not get rage and nothing and all. You will read all that in the Bible. Three and a half years, second three and a half years will be tormentation, period. Uh, of tormentation great tribulation bible says and that's when the eyes of israelites will be opened ah oh, be pierced messiah we shed that innocent blood too late brother why can't you do that right away <laughs> why can't you do that right away some people learn before they commit a mistake some people learn after they commit a mistake, both of them are equally good. Okay, It's okay. Uh, prevention is better than cure. I always prefer method one. Method two is also not bad. At least you have learned it now. Some people don't want to learn even after they commit a mistake or even after they have gone through so many problems in life. Who are they? They are a bunch of demons. Why am I saying this? Is because a bunch of demons have possessed them. And they are living in arrogance and pride and headstrong kind of attitude. You read, take and read 2 Corinthians, 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 9. Headstrong people. Nothing gets into their head. Whatever I say is right. Whatever I do is right. Whatever I think is right. Have you heard? I'm t I can bet my life, I'll tell you. <laughs> there will be one person at least like of this nature and stature in per family, you know. Really. Per family, at least you will find one person like this. Maybe they are not now, but once upon a time they were like that. Probably you all prayed over him, prayed over her. yeah. And then you cast out the demon in fasting and prayer. I appreciate that. What a, what a tremendous effort huh? to free that brother, to free that child from the clutches of the devil. And we are talking about this Antichrist who is not yet to come, but he's already in the world. When did he enter into this world? Genesis 3, 1 itself he was given that permission to enter into the world. And what is the definition of Antichrist? Anything that is anti against the teachings of Christ, against the laws and commandments in the Bible, against the statues of God, against the testimonies of God, against the will of God, against the divine plan of God. Anything. You can be clear that the spirit of Antichrist have entered, possessed your body. Huh? Now we have been talking about this Antichrist, right? Uh, because I will, I will, I will follow your, you know. Sometimes uh, you know you tell many things to children they don't understand. You have to go in their ways, in the sense you have to become one of them, one of those, one of them. Yeah. Don't ever behave like a forty-five-year-old man. Hey, listen to me. You know how old I am. Yeah, that's the reason they don't listen to you <laughs> because you are an old man. You have to become a child, you know, you, you, you have to come to their level. You step down as how God the Father steps down. Since that little Jesus, no, you know that heaven is his throne and footstool on earth. What temple can you build me, my friend? He speaks to David and in Isaiah also you can see that. Huh? But he sends the six foot tall Jesus, probably six foot I think. 
that's what history says uh because for him to cross carry that heavy cross and uh, which is uh, tall uh, which is so many cubits tall and uh, or uh, you know uh, length width and height they calculated uh, he should be at least 6 foot tall uh, with a certain weight of like 70 75 kg uh, and these many pounds and all that right he sends this little jesus what is the 6 foot before my great god heaven is my throne and nobody knows where is that heaven no people know where is third heaven that also nobody have traveled except uh, mr uh, paul who came went and came back yeah uh, and after after you're dead and gone your soul will make its way if you have lived a righteous and holy life into the paradise and that's third heaven but god lives somewhere above that imagine from there he is saying that you know there is a big god mighty god and he comes in the form of jesus to teach many things and these people kill them huh? huh? this is how you will treat a person who is so humble lowering his standards stooping down <laughs> this is the kind of world we live and this is demonic attitude if somebody is very humble brothers don't ever take him for granted and ill treat him learn to respect people who are humble learn to respect the innocent learn to respect people who are tender merciful empathizers don't take advantage or don't take them for granted learn to thank them anyway coming back to the original point what was the original point you need to stoop down to that level of the child and talk to the 5 year old child in the same language only then they understand uh, how many of your fathers and mo- um, mothers are listening to me uh, please don't threaten them don't scare them this and that talk to them in a nice nice way baby language and after the child is grown and now he is 20 years old don't talk to them like how you were talking to him when he was 5 years old and that's the reason many many children are spoiled uh, you have to grow along with them yeah then only you are a matured father matured mother uh, and uh, your your you know, your parenthood is definitely a classic example for other parents uh. you are such a role model why am i saying all of this i actually forgot but then i got a different thought that uh, jesus stooped down to this level and he taught us many things and you don't pay attention then actually you are the loser all right now i am also lowering my standards i don't want to get into the spiritual realm of ah look at this antichrist spirit uh, what are the wiles of the devil uh, how he is coming into the world uh, how he is already in the into the world we have, we will discuss we have a long way to go don't be surprised if i end up 50 60 hours of teaching on this antichrist spirit important we have to do that together yeah what else we have got uh, to do in life yeah we have to learn and, and and you will be surprised to understand many things that you think are not evil and this is okay huh you will you will you will discover that how a compromiser you were and you moved far away from god day before yesterday something happened let me explain this huh? so someone was selling wine um, in in a place and uh, they said that it's homemade wine and they went for a charismatic prayer and they were selling and i neither my wife have tasted even a single drop of alcohol no our tongue never tasted because it's our principle it will corrupt us it will take us away from god and we never ever want to taste even a single drop of alcohol in any form but when this wine was sold in that place where we attended that prayer meeting and all that uh since it has been sold in church and come on let's buy it and and then they said it's it's slightly fermented but it's not uh, like alcohol you 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 can you can have it you know little every day you you're going to be fine we came home and we we never uh, g- gave it to our child and uh, they you know they said you can even give it to children and all that but we didn't do that we just took a little uh, drop of that wine and taste it and uh, it was tasting like alcohol because the smell of the alcohol we all get used to it right wherever you go a drunkard sitting next to you you can smell it and uh, in parties and i work for it industry and parties they consume alcohol i know the smell now what convicted me was this has the smell of the alcohol 
even if it is going to have point not 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 one percentage of the smell or flavor of alcohol let it be far away from me because through this the devil will find an opportunity to enter into my life and into my family and we both decided to give that bottle back to the church or back to that place you know we don't want money but please take it no problem sell it to someone else they are technically right this is not alcohol yet yeah this is only a fermented wine homemade wine you can even test in the lab you will have no evidences of alcohol in it but it has the flavor of alcohol it has got point not 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 one percentage some percentage of that fermentation is there and through which damn i might give an opportunity to the devil travel into my life and i said no to it forget it <laughs> and then we googled this and that and we tried to convince ourselves no 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 if it was evil why would they sell in the church or why would they uh, sell in that prayer meeting this and that and all that and finally holy spirit said hey you're not convinced about it why are you battling man come on say no to it you're right go ahead and then you know the devil brings to my memory these verses where paul uh, encouraged timothy who was uh, who was uh, suffering in lot of stomach pain have a little bit of wine it is going to help you see paul himself approved wine no the devil is telling me but the holy spirit says if you are strongly convicted in this doctrine and if you have an inch of a doubt that through this the devil is going to travel in your life i'll tell you what he's going to travel in your life and don't give an opportunity forget paul forget timothy forget everyone what you think go ahead and do it and i am approving holy spirit said this and i said holy spirit you are my friend this is the reason i want you alone to be my friend <laughs> because why you will guide me you'll bring to me the uh, to my remembrance the right things that i have to do the most holy things i need to embrace and i will never let you go i was sobbing and i want that was thanking my holy spirit who convinced me and we have and we are at to return the bottle we'll be doing it now i mean we'll be doing it tomorrow <laughs> you understand huh? this is why we are teaching you how to resist the devil who travels in various forms through various situations and we will get in there but we need to understand about this antichrist as a concept so all of you uh, know about the seven years of rule right so we will talk a little bit about that we will educate you and then we will finally get into the realm of talking through the wiles of the devil now let's get into the topic where we discussed in lesson number 3 the world will become like one world system and many of you might already see that happening right one world it's already in the world is moving towards one religion one e-commerce platform kind of you know the same amazon.com in us is also selling in amazon.in in india correct no and the owner is the same likewise you will see a lot of small scale industries are being acquired by larger entrepreneurs the bigger entrepreneurs bigger commercial players and uh, you know the uh, retailers and all that why because slowly you know, at some point of time you will not find more than two three players in it industry if you take it is one microsoft oracle it is uh, amazon again in the cloud industry you will find only four five players and they will never allow the smaller industries to grow they will acquire or otherwise they will be big they will uh, they will they will create a lot of trouble and headache it's called as corporate politics huh? why why all of this is happening in the world why because they want to bring that one system and the devil is basically arranging every uh, every industry is basically arranging and putting that order therefore what happens is when that oneness is accomplished that's when the devil will be able to accomplish his will and desire in that seven years of tribulation period it will be easy for him to rule the world why because the system is one religion is one uh, language is one culture is one this is one that is one that's why you will see that there are a lot of languages which are holding dominance uh, for example english is dominant across the ends of the earth right some people say chinese is the most spoken language french is the most spoken language but english is still dominating wherever you go right probably he will use that as one language across the world yeah chinese are very stubborn they use chinese as their national language in india hindi is their national language slowly you will see all this is changing it's going to change very soon likewise religion there are so many gods and goddesses he will unite them nowadays you know catholic churches they brought in lot of you know paganite culture they're they they they're going to whatever now islam 
and Christianity is going to be merging soon and they are talking about a new religion called as uh, what is that um, uh, I forgot I forgot I read in the Google I was researching something about this and you will see you know there is oneness why but let's not fight let us unite and all that so you will see people compromising on their legacy standards ancestral methods of worshiping so you know culture this and that in this one world why because that's a facilitation that the uh, that the that the demons that the devil is lucifer is doing so that at some point of time it's easy for him to control the world as one man and probably has chosen that one that man who that man is going to be or which family from from the from from which family the man is going to come and probably is taking good care of their family molding them right and one man will control the world and the evil spirit all the evil spirits will dwell in him you understand that's the period antichrist period that we are going to talk through for some time and i will be taking you through these sessions you know? and we will then uh, you know pitch into the antichrist spirit and how to discover and how to resist the devil slowly we will get in there don't worry okay so stay tuned be patient now in a previous session we spoke about this one world and how he would be preparing we gave you many examples and the world will not only accept the role of the antichrist but will outright worship the man in revelation 13:8 i am going to also give scriptural references about this um about this uh, um, what is a tribulation period uh, revelation 13 if you are able to turn your bible to revelation 13 revelation 13 It's talking about the beast from the sea and the beast from the land and all that right in that verse number 8 al alone i would like to touch upon um in fact verse number 6 7 and 8 i would like to read for you then he opened his mouth in blasphemy in blasphemy sorry against god to blaspheme his name his tabernacle and those who dwell in heaven and it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them it happens uh, during the tribulation period uh, overcome the saints of god you and i the people always ask this question see we will get into the details a little later but i'm just telling you um, people ask this question see how can saints exist during the tribulation period very important question very valid question also if you are worshiped god then you should have been taken in rapture isn't it then how are you left behind and what is how how there can be room for the saints to exist <clears throat> i'll tell you who are those people these people are fair weathered people in fact they don't say no to god at the same time they don't say no to the devil and after they have understood this is devil's regime then they start to love god with all their heart mind and soul according to matthew 22 37 love the lord god with all your heart mind and soul but it's too late you understand what a sad situation no please don't <laughs> please never even think of this tribulation period right because it's trillion times more than some of the worst of the sicknesses or diseases that you may have in your body or some of the troublesome life that you are facing at workplace it is trillion times worse you can't even imagine and these are the saints who have accepted god oh god please save us now now they have no heart to uh, to, to be attached with the de demonic worshipers and all that but they have no choice you know death they will not taste death though. they are not allowed to die they have they will live men will say oh mountain fall on me and kill me they will not uh, die <laughs> because why they are always being watched and all the me uh, me medicines and everything will be discovered you are not allowed to die you have only one choice accept the devil and go to hell <laughs> today you have a choice god makes a way for you to escape god helps you to resist the devil angels are being deployed and this is the grace period yeah where you receive that grace tremendous grace how many of you are with me all right now <clears throat> what are we getting into yeah and it was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and the authority was given him over every tribe tongue and nation complete control over every tribe every nation every religion every tongue and all who dwell on earth will worship him verse number 8 Revelation 13:8 Whose names have not been written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world 
now don't misunderstand this huh? it's not that god decided to scrap you know uh, maintain two books one is book of life and another is book of death or something like that no all of our names were in the book of life when you were a baby god packaged you and sent you um you know telling you the divine will and plan that he had got that he have that he had that he has for you but you are the one who denied god the father and therefore you are removed from the book of life why because god gives you the free will you 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 are allowed to make your own choice and god will never ever stop you from uh, you know making the choice it's your it's your free will you understand now i don't want to spend much time here we will come back here huh? and a free independent christian united states cannot exist <laughs> during the time of antichrist you know when the new president of uh, united states you know takes that oath they will be placing a hand in the bible huh? that's the, that's that's their practice that's how they follow the last 300 years since the time they were liberated i think and you will never find a nation existing like that an independent united states during the seven year tribulation period especially and as the verse says massive widespread wise worship of the man will prevail this praise will include the united states when america follows the antichrist we can no longer call ourselves a christian nation unfortunate truth it to happen today i'm not saying it is the case in fact you know what i will prove it to you from the bible it is already the case in countries like united states and europe tell me how many churches are there many churches have been converted to football grounds and stadiums and this and that or entertainment industry <laughs> many people were upset when for example president obama said we were not a christian nation he made that statement the problem is he was correct we should have repented we were a christian nation at one time but not any more that is the situation of united states today you look at their policies it is all about worshiping god extracted from the bible because there were a lot of missionaries who came from that nation and they formed that legislation laws and regulations that's why you see a lot of humanity food clothing shelter given if a person is filing himself bankrupt there are so many policies but then look at the nature of the people look at the qualities look at their character look at what they practice look at what they are involved full of pop music rock music gays and lesbians and you know cult preachers and so many things a long time ago us was a champion of christianity i'm just taking an example a nation you know all of us know us right we all want to go to states and live there and all that the light upon the hill was there shining upon that nation now instead of the beacon of lighthouse you know instead of being at the best you know the darkness is shining on that nation the spirit of antichrist adheres to no particular political belief because there are individuals in all areas of the body politic politics i'm talking about that adheres to its own view so don't bring politics into this antichrist regime or whatever the spirit of antichrist is the rejection of the deity of christ as i told you anything that christ spoke anything that the bible is talking if anybody is rejecting if somebody says it's not the truth spirit is holy spirit is true but there is no yahweh father yahweh father is true but there is no jesus uh, jesus is just a prophet but not the son of god all these doctrines you will see spreading like wild fire across the ends of the earth this is the spirit of antichrist I want you to turn your bible to 1 john chapter 4 and verse 3 one john i i want to i would i would always like to read from nkjv version if you have an N nkjv version please turn to one john chapter 4 and verse 3 i'm also turning my bible sorry um and every spirit that does not confess listen to me very carefully every spirit spirit means what every one of us have that spirit we are made of body mind and spirit huh? and soul is an inner man image of god he is the one who registers all the events yeah that travels through this body mind and spirit body mind exposed to the world and the spirit is going to pay its attention to the body and mind but spirit if it is going to be ruled by the holy spirit then it will say no to the body and mind because holy spirit will teach and preach 
to you from the or bring to your memory uh, memory all that you have read from the bible and he will never approve of anything that is evil or wicked you understand likewise if the spirit is being ruled by the evil spirit because you have given him too much of room you have always been paying attention to body and mind and not to the word of god all these things soul will keep registering and whichever dominates majority is the, uh, are going to be the deeds of the evil spirit the soul will make its way to the hell place of torment a majority are going to be the deeds of the holy spirit from the bible approved by the father through the word of god he will make its way to the paradise you understand now that is the spirit now let us talk about this every spirit that does not confess that spirit inside of you that does not confess that jesus christ has come in the flesh is not of god and this is the spirit of antichrist which you have heard was coming as, as and is now already in the world john wrote this 2000 years ago from the land of patmos very true no now today you can see how many various people right in our nation in our nation in the sense you can call it any nation you belong to you know people have rejected the deity of christ for decades the bible would be allowed in the schools if the system thought god's word was without error if you believe something to be without error then it must be the truth and if true would it not be encouraged as early as preschool or education system teaches the bible contains lies billions of years ago is the beginning of any dinosaur book and all that right they say that the world began many many millions of years ago billions of years ago and how is this bible talking about only 6000 years ago see this is the way how the deceiver enters into your life and that's why many many schools have disapproved teaching christianity why because to the children we will teach moral science morality about the law of nature and how to conduct themselves cleanliness and all that but we won't bring religion neither this religion or that religion forget it <laughs> the reason is the bible tells us the creation that took 6 days and was less than 10000 years ago or 6000 years ago sorry by rejecting jesus book we have rejected his claim of speaking the universe into existence genesis 1 john 1 1 verses 1 to 3 and john 4 1:14 what is john 1:14 that alone i will read for you yeah many things this world have rejected and the devil made them to reject because he had led them into confusion and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth and hebrews uh, chapter 1 verses 1 to 2 i want to read that also very quickly i'm not going to get into explanations we are still setting the preface god who at various times and in different ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things uh, through whom also he made the worlds worlds it's a plural worlds means what several generation that existed in the world many people get into various interpretations but we will come there shortly now previous to the 20th century you know many courts would often cite the bible and the constitution as a reason for their decisions now today our judicial system has no room for the bible they don't quote bible they don't quote any religious book the removal of plagues and pictures of the 10 commandments in court rooms is proof of this yeah especially in the us courts they have removed all of the, those you know they don't want to be uh, you know operating their judicial system bible based judicial system and they discovered their own judicial system that's a true and there has been more than a century of the absence of the scripture in court rulings once upon a time the court rulings had these kind of scriptures being quoted you know and it was bible based judgment now many actions of law makers refute the deity of christ you know now we have seen the passage of local ordinances rejecting the phrase in jesus name in public prayer many of the charismatic prayers i attend they don't use the word jesus name oh god oh father god oh lord god all that you know in god's name we pray but they don't use the 
name jesus name father son and the holy spirit they don't use that kind of trinity connotation yeah this is all spreading very very quickly across you, you if you end you just just test it out right try attending few churches and see what is the nature there in the world of religion the denominations have seminaries that teach against the deity of christ and churches have pastors that do not believe jesus was god it's all happening today very very quickly it's spreading i'm just prefacing the education system the judicial system the body politic and the churches have denied or denied or behaved in the ways that are spirit of antichrist is slowly getting into the discussion we are slowly getting into the topic right now as you keep hearing tiktok tiktok of the clock advances towards the tribulation period we have watched the last section of christianity the united states have all more buried into the spirit of antichrist we are going to prove it from the bible yeah, a lot of people are wondering what is going on they look to scientists and politicians for answers but they don't refer the bible for answers you know <laughs> basic knowledge of biblical prophecy gives a clue 2020 is a time of change many people after this pandemic entered now this year god had pressed the accelerator which year 2020 now we are in 2022 accelerated down the road to the day of the lord and the time of jacob's trouble but still it's not the end of the world because nobody knows the exact time and the hour right the spirit of antichrist is here it is growing at an alarming rate that every one of us should, should take a note and be serious about this and the son of perdition is waiting to step forth from the shadows as soon as god allows him permits him it's been referenced in second thessalonica Thessalonians, 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 <laughs> Second Thessalonians, uh, verses six to eight. I want to read very quickly for you. Nor did we see glory. No, Second Thessalonians. Uh, no, sorry, I messed up with my verse. Oh, sorry, I. I that's not the right uh, scripture i'm sorry um, I, there was a mistake in my notes right so if you understand this clearly my beloved brother my sister what did you understand we have just prefaced huh? we have not gone into the details and from next session onwards we will be getting into the details we will be getting into the topic the antichrist spirit and the son of perdition and we will be getting into the second thessalonians chapter 2 i will be taking you through the systematic study from next uh, session onwards we will be deep we will be getting into this deep dive of the bible right with this i would like to end the session with a summary i hope you understood the antichrist regime the spirit of tribulation sorry the tribulation period is not to be seen alone as the antichrist regime but the spirit of antichrist is already at work may god bless us heavenly father we want to thank you for this wonderful time and 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 and, and, and the teaching revealing to us that we are truly in the bad times we are truly in the evil times and help us to walk in diligence help us to walk in revelation in glory in truth in spirit and liberty in jesus name we pray god bless you please subscribe to our channel get access to all our playlists Continue to stay tuned, tuned. We are going to release a lot of videos like these. And we do detailed Bible teachings here. Please do not miss. And share it with your friends, near ones, dear ones. And whomever you know, it's your responsibility to share the word of God. Continue to remember me and my ministries in your personal prayers. Pray for me. 10 seconds, closing your eyes every day. That's all we request. God bless you. Take care.